everybody and welcome to keto campers this is what we call the test bench this is where we look at unbox install review uh, different products today we're going to be reviewing the WeBoost drive x rv this is the newest model and we're going to take a look at this i'm going to unbox it and we're going to take a look at the contents and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to install it. I've watched a couple install videos of this and I'm going to do it just a little bit differently than most people have. So I hope I can give you an idea of how to maybe get a little bit of boosted performance out of this thing. We'll find out, but let's open the package and I'll bring you up close and we'll show you the contents. Okay, so here's a little bit closer look at the box. This is the front, then where you have some more information. And then here's the back of the box where it gives you a little bit more information and kind of a install diagram right here. So let's get this thing out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the directions and in here is a product registration card which I have already registered this product here's your user manual now keep in mind when you're going to use one of these it needs to be registered with your carrier whoever your cell phone service is with um, if you go to WeBoost and look for it they have links to the various carriers so that you can register this with your carrier um, I've never heard of a carrier denying registration on one of these, so it should be pretty straightforward. So here, everything is laid out in the steps. This is the main antenna. This is steps one and two. And then this is the inside antenna. This is step three. Then we have step four right here, which is the booster itself. And then underneath the booster, we have steps five and six, which is the power supply. It comes with a 110 volt wall plug and a 12 volt. Let me get all this out of the box and laid out on the table and I'll show you some more. All right, so here's the contents of the box. We have the antenna. We have the antenna spring. Here we have the mount. Here we have the extension pole inside antenna bracket for the booster unit itself which is right here 12 volt power supply which is how i'm going to wire it into my trailer 110 volt power supply which i will take with me also but this will not be the primary power source cable mounts cable ties hole saw for going in the side of the trailer which i am going to use this is the outside antenna 25 feet of outside antenna and this is the little wall entry port and i'm going to use it also you will see it in use so i'll take all this out of the packages real quick and we'll take a look at everything out of the packages all right, so there's most everything out of the package. These two items right here will go with the antenna when I mount it. I am not going to use this extension pole and you'll see why in a little bit. All right, so this, this apparatus right here is the mount for it. It's designed to be uh, mounted onto a ladder on the back of your RV. Well, my RV doesn't have a ladder, so I'm gonna do something a little different and I'll show you that in just a second. But this is everything out of the package. This is the little hole saw and then the little wart that goes along with this cable that's going to go in the side of the trailer. All right, let me show you what I'm going to use to mount this. So this is what I'm going to use. This is a 23 foot paint roller extension. And this is what I'm going to use to mount this on because I want it to be extendable so that I can get up a little higher um, so this is what I'm going to mount it with. I'm going to use, I'm going to use these little guys to mount 
the pole to the trailer. These are conduit hangers. I'm going to put a lag bolt through here into the trailer. And then the booster antenna, the booster antenna will be mounted in this area right here. So I'm going to get going and get some holes drilled and show you how I'm going to mount this to the trailer. All right. So I've got my holes drilled. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the first hole here. I have some clear silicone sealant. I'm going to shoot some of that down in the hole and then smear plenty of it around. Okay. Now I've got these pretty good size screws that I'm going to be putting in there and I'm going to be putting them through these guys through this hole. Nice snug, nice snug fit. All right, that's nice and tight. And to caulk around here real nice. Get that all gooped and waterproofed really good. There we go. There we go. Looks good. All right, now I'm going to do that with all three. So I've got two more to do, and then I'll bring you back and show you the pole installation. All right, now I've got all the holes drilled, and I have all of the brackets secured to the trailer. So now I'm going to put the pole into the brackets and uh, you'll get to see how one of them goes in right there. So let me get to it. And there she is, nice and solid. So let me continue and I'll get back with you when I'm ready to move on to the next step. All right, so now I'm getting ready to mount the bracket to my pole that I have on the trailer. This piece right here is a little bit thinner than a RV ladder would be. So I had to make myself some little spacers and I made them out of this uh, some old copper pipe I had laying around. And so I'll show you how that's going to go on here as I do this. All right, so what I've done is I've put on the washer, my little spacer, a lock washer, and then the nut. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. <clears throat> All right, so that's the basic configuration. I know it may look a little funky right now, but once I get it tightened up, I think it'll be fine. Uh, Wilson Electronics also in the package includes this little thing of Loctite and I am going to use this up here because once I get these tightened down I really want them to stay so stay tuned in and we'll see what happens. That'll be something to keep in mind. That's just a little higher than I'd like it to be, but anyway. So the idea is when I get to the place where I'm going to be parked, I can extend this ladder. I mean, this. I can extend this pole. And I probably would only extend this one about halfway since it's the scrawniest of the poles. And then I can extend this one and I have a mark on it for as high as I would want to go, which is this mark. And as you can see, I get some pretty nice elevation out of it. That's probably the top of my trailer is about 11 and a half feet. And this is probably another... 
12 feet. So off the ground, I'm going to get about 22, 23 feet elevation if necessary. And it's, if there's a big wind, I'm going to have to pull it down. So let's go ahead and get the antenna mounted. This little washer fits there. That fits right on top of it. And then this other larger nut goes on the bottom. All right, that baby's tight. Yeah, that baby's tight. So, spring, I'd get a little bit of spring out of that if I needed to. As you can see, it's been in this more than it's been in the spring, but I hopefully will not need that. I'll just pay attention. All right, so we've come inside and I've run the cable from the antenna in through the hole that I drilled outside. And I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you what I'm doing up there. All right, so there it is. There's where I came in from the outside. The screws are where um, the curtain and blind go for the window. So I'm going to tape that up. And then that hole right there is an existing hole that I already had. And that goes around here. And this is where I have a little 300 watt inverter for the television while we're out boondocking. And that's the 12 volt power supply that I'm going to tap into for the cell phone booster. There's the hole that comes in and I'm going to drill another hole right up there by the corner and all my connections are going to be made inside that cabinet. So I'll take you with me as I do all that. I ran it through that hole and through the new hole and it is now coming into the cabinet. Now this right here is my 12 volt that's going into this plug and I'm going to cut this right in here somewhere and splice the power supply that came with the WeBoost, the 12 volt, into it. And when I'm done, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we are back for another day of doing the WeBoost 4G XRV cell booster install so let me show you what I have done so far okay so where we're at is I have tapped in to this 12 volt plug with some extension wires gone in behind and into the cabinet where I drilled a hole and the extension wires come out and now are connected to the 12 volt power supply for the WeBoost. So I am going to take some of my roofing tape and tape over that hole so that it's not just an open hole. I'm going to replace that plug back into that hole and then we'll continue with our installation. All right, so here we have it taped up so this is now my power supply cable and it's coming out of here with the fuse this is the outside antenna and i'm going to mount the bracket right here so this is going to be the back of the booster unit where these two the power and the antenna hook in and then that's going to be these two connections antenna and power and then over here is the external antenna right here and that's going to go out this way and I have an idea where I want to put it but I'm not 100% sure yet so we'll 
check it out but let's get that bracket in there and get this mounted all right so just for good measure i put a little piece of vhb tape on the back because i don't anticipate moving this anytime soon and i definitely want it to stay put once i put it in there all right so there we go the bracket she is mounted oh yes i like all right so now this is going to fit in here like so nice and solid so i want to let you in on my dilemma and it may be just because i don't know what i'm doing but here's the directions for routing the antenna okay you can see the cord from the booster comes into the what i would consider the back side of the antenna and the little diagram in the box shows that all of the signal is coming out of this side so it would be the front so i'm going to give we boost a call and i can't do it while i'm recording because i'm recording on my phone i really wish that i could all right so i just got off the phone with we boost and they were very professional they were very helpful my question was this, because I didn't see it anywhere in the instructions. Um, I haven't seen it in a single video that I've watched. Maybe it's common knowledge and I just didn't know it. But here is the inside antenna. Okay, you can see it's got kind of a shape, sloped shape to it there. And the cord is in here, which would be representative of the back. And this is the front. The diagram on the box shows the inside antenna facing like this and the signal emanating from this part of it outward. It doesn't show any signal emanating out here. So my question to them was, is this a directional antenna? And the answer was, yes, it is a directional antenna. This is the front. This is where the signal is going to emanate from so you don't want this pointing toward an area where you're going to want uh cell connection because it's just not going to get nearly as good a connection there it is directional i've never seen that set mentioned on a video it does not mention it in the instructions so once again we boost if you happen to be watching this that would be an addition that would be helpful so the installation is complete i'm getting ready to fire it up and since i record these videos on my phone i'm not going to be able to show you um, live what happens to the signal and the speed but i will include some screenshots in this video and i'll come on and i'll explain what we're doing at what point i think what i plan on doing is a shot of the cell signal without the booster and a speed test and then i'm going to do a shot of the signal with the booster and a speed test so there should be four measurements that we're taking and I'll come back on and explain it all and we'll see how it does. All right, so I'm gonna show you some results. I'm gonna move over because I'm gonna put them right up here. So this is what the signal looks like before the cell phone booster is plugged in. Now understand, I get a fairly decent signal right here, so the, the results are not going to be super dramatic. But you can see, this is what I got before, and this is the one I got afterward. You can see there is a slight improvement, and then this is the speed test I got without the booster. 
and then this is the speed test that I got with the booster so like I say my signal is fairly decent here as long as I have a really pretty decent signal it's not going to like jump out and say hey look what I'm doing but uh, when we go on our trip here in a couple weeks we'll see how the signal is and if the numbers change I'll you know post an update and show you what happens when we're at really bad signal because we're going to a state park and they notoriously have bad cell phone signals and then especially ones that aren't right next to a big city and then we're going boondocking and uh, I just have no idea what to expect there um, but we'll find out but anyway that's gonna do it for this video I'm going to take you out real quick and show you the antenna setup that I have you saw the install but now I'm going to show you the functioning of it so let's go take a look so from back here you can see that's the part that's attached to the trailer we saw all that and then that's the extension I'm able to get right there so that's actually pretty good So there we go. All right, so that's what we got as far as the cell phone booster install. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, be sure to subscribe and give us a like. Very, very soon our website's going to be up and running. I'll let you know when it is. Be sure to visit. Give it a check. See what you think. You can give us feedback at feedback at ketocampers.com you can visit us on Facebook at Keto Campers both with K's you can check us out on Instagram you can check us out on Twitter and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one